Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel 11, this time verses 8 through 11. When he numbered them in Bezek, the children of Israel were 300,000 and the men of Judah 30,000. And they said to the messengers who came, Thus you shall say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, Tomorrow by the time the sun is hot, you shall have help. Then the messengers came and reported it to the men of Jabesh, and they were glad. Therefore the men of Jabesh said, Tomorrow we will come out to you, and you may do with us as whatever that seems good to you. So it was on the next day that Saul put the people in three companies, and they came into the midst of the camp in the morning watch, and killed Ammonites until the heat of the day. And it happened that those who survived were scattered, so that no two of them were left together. So here's the big battle. 300, over 300,000 Hebrews have gathered to defend their friends in Jabesh Gilead. The Ammonites are just slaughtered all day long. So this is kind of sad and grim and, and gruesome. We've got a, a terrible amount of killing going on here. But again, these were the aggressors. The Ammonites came and they were trying to, to humiliate uh, the Hebrews and God just sort of puts an end to that. What lessons can we draw here from this? Friends, when God's people come out in force, something big can happen. The church today measures how many people, well, the church seems like it's diminished or it's shrinking, if you had 5,000 Christians go out one day into all the parks in a, in a significant sized city and hand out literature or give Bible studies, why that would be no worthy thing that would happen. And that kind of thing could happen. The, uh, the Ammonites came out to humiliate the Hebrews. They wound up being very deeply humiliated. This is a big win for Saul, but we'll see tomorrow morning what happens next for the Hebrews. In the meantime, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that we can trust you. You are on our side. You want us to prosper. Uh, you do not want evil to prevail over us. Help us to, to know your pathway, Lord. Help us to seek to do what's right. Help us to trust in you and be actively engaging in the Christian walk. Thank you for uh, this example. Today, we, we still can look to this and say, Lord, help us to be active in your service in whatever way you would lead us. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today in all that you do. Uh, if we go out in force, the, the world will notice that we've been with Jesus.